What's up guys? Welcome to your 12th tutorial. Again, thanks for giving me those thumbs up, subscribing, and all those positive comments. Definitely appreciate all that. And just got done watching a social network, so I'm all pumped to make some videos here. But uh, what we're going to do is we're going to set up our XML layout tutorial 1. And we're just going to add some stuff to this. And we're going to, basically this video is just going to do some more XML, but a little bit more advanced than we have done. And we're going to use some new features um, for a program here. Basically what we first want to add is a edit edit text. So just drag and drop the edit text. And we're going to change this stuff around in the actual XML in a second. But just uh, do, do this in order. Um, do a text view, two text views. And then we're going to put in a radio button, just um, just one for now. And then we're going to do a text view under that and a regular button. All right, and now we're going to go to the actual XML here. And basically, we don't want just one radio button because it's pretty much pointless. We could just have a check checkbox if we just want that. But we're just going to copy our radio button six times or five times we want six radio buttons and there we go we're getting started here now I'm just gonna I'm just gonna save and run the program real quick okay so this is what our program is gonna look like and when we click our button it makes a sound I have my headphones in so it's not really showing but basically what I wanted to to show you guys is when you click these radio buttons they'll all be able to uh, highlight right now and we won't really want that because we want only one choice for those so um, basically I just wanted to let you guys see that and the way that we can change that is by radio group and so we're going to add radio group and basically we gotta set it up so I, I kinda want the same three things as for our linear layout for the whole program and we're just going to do copy and paste from up there and make sure it closes it off and we are going to change these both to wrap content and that makes sense in a second here but okay so we have our open end of the radio group and now we need to close it off. I'm going to do two groups that hold three radio buttons in. So I'm just going to say uh, close radio group. And then we're just going to set up the second radio group, which will hold the last three buttons. And we're just going to copy and paste the same code because we still want it to wrap the content of the buttons. And we still want a vertical orientation. And then we're just going to close that off as well. All right, and now we're now basically I'm probably going to clip the video, but I'm going to tell you kind of what our program, what we want it to do. And so we're going to have to change some of these IDs and the text. So basically, what we are going to have our program do is change the text on the screen to like the left side, the center, or the right side by checking these radio buttons and clicking the actual button at the bottom so I'm just gonna label these as left center and right and then for a bottom three I'm gonna do uh, normal bold and italic so probably gonna clip the video and change that and I'm also gonna change uh, all the IDs to RB for the radio button and also left and I'll do RB center RB right and then RB you know normal bold italics you basically just want to make sure the idea is the same as your text okay and basically this is what your buttons should look like um, and be labeled as the IDs and the text is over here so just get your setup like that you can pause this video and get set up and we're also going to change some of the stuff up here basically for edit text we want that to be blank when the program starts so we aren't going to have any text in there and for the ID we're just going to do uh, ET input as as the label and we also want the 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 width of the edit text to to fill the parent 
sorry, having trouble speaking today for some reason. And for the text, we want it to say uh, gravity, or what, what do we have our first buttons as? Yeah, gravity for the text, and we want it to say style. For the identifiers for these, we don't even need identifiers. So we're just going to delete the IDs for those. I mean, you can keep them if you want. Well, it won't really matter. And then we also want to change at the bottom uh, our text view and our button variables. So we're going to change the text for the text view is enter something and click. Click OK. And then we're going to change the ID to uh, text view get input. And again, you can label these whatever. And uh, for the button, we're going to say OK. And for the ID, we're going to say just button OK. And we might as well just fill the parent on the button as well. All right, basically we've got our program set up, and now we can start programming. But what you're probably wondering is, hey, that looks pretty lame. Everything's just off to the left and looking not very classy. So now we just want to set up some new linear layouts, maybe some horizontal, maybe some vertical, and just get everything looking nice here so as we go down um, as we go down this list of programming we can say our text edit fills the screen but how can we get these two to be side by side because that's what we want to do and to do that it'll be pretty familiar uh, it'll just be a linear layout and I'm just gonna copy the code from up here or at least this part and just say uh, linear layout and then control V it's gonna be the same as up there but we don't want this to be vertical because it would basically be the same so we're gonna change this to horizontal save it and we want our linear layout to end after it holds those text views so we're just gonna close it off and we're gonna check it out hopefully it works Okay, they're side by side now, but we aren't getting anything else because we didn't wrap the content of these for the linear layout. We said fill whatever's left. So we're going to change that real quick to wrap content. For the height, anyways. For the width, we're going to want it to be fill parent still. And now we're just going to check it out. There we go. Still they're pretty close together, and that's fine for now. Okay, so now we need another linear layout to make our group buttons, our groups side by side at least. So we just want to um, probably just copy and paste um, the same linear setup that we uh, did earlier. Oops. Alright, so we probably just want to copy and paste the same setup that we did earlier. So I'm just going to go up and copy that. Okay. And again, it's just going to wrap the content of the two the groups for the height, and it's going to fill the parent for the width. Now we just have to close this off at the bottom of both of our radio groups. So you want to go below where you cl close off your radio group, and it'll close it off for you. Now we should hopefully get them side by side like that. And that looks pretty nice so far. And all we're going to do now is... We're also going to change the text font for our text down here. So, or text size, I should say. So, we're just going to change the text size to be like I'm going to say our text size is like 25 dp. And we'll check that out. And it says I got an error, so I don't know what I did wrong. 
Oh, I did two androids right here, so I don't want to do that. And we'll check it out. We got bigger text now. <laughs> 